the question is prepare trading and profit and loss account and balance it for the year ended 31st march 2016 of dev murarji from the following information okay fine there are four adjustments depreciate furniture and fixtures at the rate of 5% plant and machinery at 10% for tools were revalued at rupee आज एन थर्टी फास्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन आठ रुपीज फोर्टी फाइव हंड्रेड दीज आर थ्री एडजस्टमेंट्स फॉर डेप्रिसिएशन एंड क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इज गिवेन रुपीज एटीन थाउजेंड फाइन क्लोजिंग स्टॉक विल बी सोन इन टू प्लेसेस फर्स्ट वन इज इन ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट क्रेडिट साइड एंड सेकेंड वन इज एज करेंट एसेट्स एंड डेप्रिसिएशन विल बी सोन इन द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एज वेल एज डिडक्शन फ्रॉम द फिक्सड एसेट्स Whereas one more uh, asset is there that is tools. Tools are revalued at forty five hundred. You see, tools are retained in the trial balance at five thousand. It was revalued at forty five hundred. Tool the this method used to find out depreciation is revaluation method. Tools are purchased for five thousand and end of the year we found that it is of worth rupees. Forty-five hundred rupees. Five hundred is the depreciation, which will be deducted in the asset side, and will be shown in the profit and loss account debit side. Now we have to start with the trading account credit side, that is by sales rupees forty-eight thousand five hundred and ninety. By closing stock being an adjustment rupees eighteen thousand. It will be shown as an current assets in the balance sheet. Next one being in the debit side to opening stock rupees twenty one thousand to purchases rupees twenty one thousand six hundred fifty to wages rupees six thousand to motive power heating and lighting rupees one six double zero to carriage inward rupees two hundred fifty. Then totaling in of the credit side is rupees sixty six thousand five hundred ninety being the higher value, and the difference in the debit side will be to gross profit carried down the difference, that is rupees sixteen thousand ninety rupees. It will be taken to profit and loss accounts credit side as by gross profit brought down that is rupees sixteen thousand ninety rupees. And in the debit side we will have two, and the credit side we will have by discount received. It is an income rupees five hundred eighty. Next one being to carriage outwards rupees six hundred, to printing and stationery rupees two double six zero, to office expenses rupees six hundred fifty, to interest paid on loan rupees two hundred, to travelling expenses rupees four hundred. To legal charges rupees one nine double zero. To depreciation on plant and machinery rupees twenty five hundred. Furniture and fixtures rupees hundred. We should know that the value of a plant and machinery, furniture, plant and machinery, given in the book is rupees twenty five thousand and ten percent is the depreciation given in the adjustment. That is. Ten percent of twenty-five thousand. That is twenty-five hundred, and depreciate furniture and fixture by five percent. The value of a furniture and fixture given in the book is rupees two thousand. Two thousand into five percent is rupees hundred, and the next one being tools rupees five hundred. That is five thousand is revalued at forty-five hundred. This is tools rupees five hundred. The totaling is rupees thirteen hundred, and we have to total from the credit side. That is rupees sixteen thousand six hundred fifty. Write down in the debit side totaling rupees sixteen thousand six hundred seventy to find out the difference, the gap that is net profit carried down. That is rupees seven one six zero. And then we will proceed towards our balance sheet. That is balance sheet as at thirty first March two thousand sixteen. We have to start from the asset side. It is always easier to start from the asset side. Current assets 
sundry debtors is rupees twenty eight thousand one hundred, bills receivable rupees eighteen hundred, closing stock rupees eighteen thousand, tools rupees five thousand, less depreciation rupees five hundred, in the final column rupees forty five hundred. Next one being fixed assets that is investments rupees four thousand. Plant and machinery in the inside column rupees twenty five thousand. As adjustment is there for depreciation at the rate of ten percent, that is rupees twenty five hundred. In the final column, we will have rupees twenty two thousand five hundred. Next one being fixtures and furniture and fixtures rupees two thousand less depreciation five percent rupees hundred. In the final column, we will have rupees nineteen hundred. And in the asset side, the last item will be freehold premises, rupees ten thousand, and the totaling will be rupees ninety thousand eight hundred. In the liability side, we will have current liabilities, that is sundry creditors, rupees two four three zero, long term liabilities and capital, that is loan, rupees thirty eight thousand, reserve, rupees five hundred. Capital rupees forty two thousand seven hundred ten, add net profit that is rupees seven one six zero, and in the final column after adding net profit it will be forty nine thousand eight hundred seventy. Then totaling of the liability side is rupees ninety thousand eight hundred, which is the final answer.